In cryptocurrency today, there's a lot of talk and focus all about trading and investment and focus on DeFi, the decentralized finance movement. But to me, that's really missing the point of a lot of the potential and also a lot of the excitement of the space. If you look at the world as a whole, you've got 2.5 billion people around the world who don't have access to banking, who aren't able to store money securely or send that cheaply or quickly or easily between themselves. If you see this chart here, You've got 71% of the world's population earning less than $10 a day and 15% of the world's population earning less than $2 a day. And these are people who aren't able to store the little money they do earn securely and are reliant on remittance companies to be able to send that money home, which they often have to do on a daily basis. And remittance companies are hugely guilty of ex uh, charging really high percentages to the world's poorest people. They charge an average of 6.9% to people to send money from A to B but that can be up to 30%. So this is the poorest people around the world having to pay up to a third of their incomes just to these remittance companies to be able to send money home to their families. Uh, and as you can see here, the remittance industry is still growing hugely year on year. So what is, is really exciting about cryptocurrency, to me the most exciting use case, is that it allows people to send money almost for free, almost instantly to anyone that they want around the world without having to pay huge amounts of fees. They can do so for as little as 1% or so. And they're not relying on any third party company at all. So they've got a lot more independence, they've got a lot more freedom and they're saving a lot more of the money that they are bringing home. So that, that for me is, is really the most positive use case of cryptocurrency that, that hopefully we'll see grow in the coming years. I'm Erica Stanford, founder of the Crypto Curry Club.